Dean Falk, you're an American anthropologist and you studied the origins of human language. Your main question is, how did it happen that our ancestors started to speak? Some anthropologists believe early hominids developed a spoken language system for hunting. You have an entirely different theory. Could you describe it? Yes, um, my theory about language origins differs from the standard ones. For instance, there's this notion that hunting was very important and that uh, language was invented primarily by males. Uh, some years ago, I became aware of how mothers speak to infants universally with baby talk or motherese. And I started to think about that because baby talk facilitates babies' acquisitions of their native languages. So I started to wonder how did baby talk evolve. No other primate does it. And what the relationship was with baby talk and language origin. And the focus then is on mothers and infants, because if you look at our nearest relatives, chimpanzees or the other great apes, the fathers um, are not really involved with day-to-day -day living and infant care. It's the mothers and the infants, and it's the moms who keep the babies alive, and that's what evolution is about. It's about who lives and who dies. So I see the focus uh, in terms of survival on mothers and infants, and language is having evolved between them. Probably there was a lot of severe selection with, with babies and mothers who died in, in childbirth. And so um, the babies became born helpless and less developed to be born at all. So they started to, to finish gestating postnatally. So what nursing mothers would have had to have done was hang on to their babies until they invented ways to attach them. And if you're going to go about your business and forage for food, and you're going to have to, at times, set that baby down. And babies do not like to be set down. And crying, like in the U.S., um, babies cry a lot more than in a lot of other cultures. And studies have shown that um, most of the time, they simply want to be held. Homo sapiens' closest relatives, chimpanzees, speak to each other, but they didn't develop a spoken language system as early Homo did. Why not? Well, chimpanzees, who are our closest cousins, can be very vocal and very noisy in nature, or they can fall on very silent if they need to. When the males go off to hunt, for instance, they'll become very quiet. So they're, they're vocal and chatty at times, but there's a huge difference. Although there are calls in nature, in terms of mothers and infants, the interaction is much different than is the case with humans. Chimpanzee babies from very shortly after birth are able to cling to their mothers with all four extremities. So initially they um, gl glom on to mom's underside to her thorax, and they'll ride there, and they nurse on demand, and there's relative silence between the mother and the infant, and as the infant becomes more mature, it will switch to piggyback. So they're a dyad. They're literally glued together 24-7, and there's not much in the way of vocalization. There doesn't need to be. But with humans, we've lost that solid, round-the-clock physical contact for reasons to do with physical evolution. Our babies no longer have the ability to stay, you know, glommed onto mom, so we put them down periodically, or we carry them in various containers, baby slings. And so what's happened with humans is the vocal channel between mothers and infants has opened up, and that's where the baby talk, you know, in, I think uh, started and came from, and then that led over a long, long time to other kinds of uh, communications that eventually became language.